I have uh, two boxing questions for uh, cool. for Maxi Day and um, Dog, and and anyone and in anyone else that wants to chime nah, in. Nah, nah, nah. You've asked Maxi. Uh, the Maxie? the the Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. fight. Did you see yes. any of that? Yes. What did you think? I think Alex couldn't step in a ring with Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure none of us could step in a ring with Mike Tyson. He was still he throwing. Like he, still hits hard. he was still throwing some big, big yeah. punches. I was impressed, to be honest. Did, I mean, now, I, I don't know what I was expecting, but I was. I I enjoyed watching it. I, I didn't yeah. watch it. I Did they look impressive be because of who he was hitting? No, like, I, mean, just, I don't. I don't. I don't watch fighting. Yeah. I don't know if that makes a difference in terms of like, like if he was hitting arguably one of the best pound for box, pound for pound best boxers ever. No, no, no. He was hitting he someone was who used prepared. to be one of the best pound for pound boxers ever. He's currently yeah, he stopped not. fighting in two thousand and. Yeah, but he stopped fighting like five years ago. Yeah, he versus this Aussie. Aussie. Um... Well, it was four years ago. But was yeah. it? They're was both, he? What he they're both good. Was he in his prime then when he stopped? No, nah, he was. Nah. He stopped his prime in two thousand, probably. Yeah. So this, so last what, good fight? I guess what I mean is like if you know, like if two welterweight, I don't know, welterweight, featherweight, whatever they are, light people are punching, like some hits are going to look more impressive. But if they tried to land that same hit on someone bigger, it wouldn't look as impressive. Like, did that impact the way the hits looked? The fact that they were. I was impressed with both of them. Um, I was impressed with both of them. I was more impressed with um how much Mike. spring. Tyson had in his legs for the whole six rounds. Yeah, um, I expected him to slow down, but um, since, yeah, I was really impressed. Since, since Roy Jones had retired more recent, I expected mm -hmm. him to have more spring. I think he was just more scared to get hit. Yeah, like, uh, he's yeah because uh, he, his his style relied so much on his instincts when he was young, which is why he's a typical boxer that falls out of his prime quickly. Whereas you watch someone like uh, Mayweather and stuff like they can stay in their prime because it's not just their instincts they rely on, or not the instincts, sorry, their reactions, the technique. They rely so heavily on his reactions, right? Yeah. Whereas Mayweather was very technical. Technical. So when you look at Roy Jones, like he couldn't, like he used to leave his head hanging in, and as they tried to swing, he would punch them before they land, sort of thing. Like he was so quick and his reactions were so on point. Whereas that you lose that, right? So I think he. He would have yeah. struggled in that fight more so because he was out of his prime. He was, and it's when you're against the famous Mike Tyson, it just destroys everything it, he touches almost. Because um, I can yeah. see why he looked less impressive. He, he said he smoked up before he, he went into the fight. Mike Tyson, Tyson. yeah, yeah. He's, well, he's, he's lucky he didn't get the munchies because he'd have been his ear off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, I can see how Mike Tyson's changed, right? Because after the fight, they go, um, the announcer goes. It was a draw, right? And then the announcer goes, "How do you feel about that, Mike?" And he's like, oh, "I can, I agree with that. I agree with it." In his like, in his <laughs> voice, and I was like, "Eh." The old Mike Tyson was like, "This is bullshit. This is bullshit." Because <laughs> it seemed like, uh, he, yeah, yeah. As he as he's got older, he's mellowed out. Yeah, did, yeah, he's mellowed did out. Did you I see that they're? Uh, high. Did you see they've cast the lead to play Mike Tyson in the biopic that's going to come out? Oh no. No. Oh, okay. If you don't know, this is perfect. Who do you, if you could pick anyone to play Mike Tyson, who would you pick? Because I think they've perfectly cast this. Ice Cube. <laughs> I don't know. Um... It's got to be a young person, hasn't it? Oh man, I'm thinking now. I'm going back into the. Uh... Like a young. This is gonna scare me. I'm, is... I'm assuming. Is it a black cent. guy? Is it a black guy? He's yes. too old. <laughs> it can't be. Okay, so it's not an old actor, can it? This, it it's not a wild, this is someone who, when I, when, when you, you say it or I say it, you're gonna, I think you're gonna quite like it. Who? Hey. Are we giving up? Um, Jamie Fox. Jamie oh. Fox. Is he? Have you enough? ever heard Jamie Fox? Oh yeah, if you see the picture when they announce him, he's massive. Um. Have you ever mm. heard Jamie Foxx do a Mike Tyson impression? Yeah. Oh, no, I haven't. It, yeah. It's yeah. incredible. And also, he's, he is a very good actor. He is a very I good actor. Say, but like, I, I, I wouldn't normally go out there and try to do a Mike Tyson impression. Nah. Nah. I wouldn't want to upset that man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's have a look at his uh, body transformation. Jamie Foxx. 
Jamie Foxx reveals body transformation. His mouth actors? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it, that's the headline. <laughs> well, me too, please. While Emma looks at <laughs> Emma, while Emma looks at this article, right? The the pre fight, Nate Robinson versus oh. uh, the YouTuber oh, I Logan. I didn't see it, but I've seen all of the memes. Um, yeah, and heard a lot about it. Like I'm, I'm, I'm a bit, um, I'm like I'm a bit wary about like bagging Nate Robinson out because you got to have balls to jump in the ring, right? First off, you got to be, you got to have some kahunas to get into the ring, right? But what was he thinking? What yeah, was he no. thinking? He thought once he got hit once and it hurt, and he thought he was gonna get knocked out properly. He got very scared and was like, "How can I get out of this fight in a believable way?" <laughs> Is that what that's true? Thinking? That's what people do that all the time. Oh. People in their first fights will do it all the time. That's exactly what happened. He got hit really hard and he was like, "I really didn't like that," <laughs> and then was like, "Okay, now what do I do?" Yeah. He would have a few like scary, like big shots back, and if it didn't work, he's like, "Okay, let me just look like I'm boxing for as long as it takes." And then, because one time he got knocked down, and yeah. it wasn't a big knockdown, but he was like, oh, okay, I can't be knocked out on that one. Okay, let's try one that was a bit more. Man. It looks like it hurts more. Oh, so, you, so you're like saying it wasn't a proper oh. knockout? I think the one that landed, I it's don't a... think he was, I think he stopped. I think he just, because cause the one before, normally, like, it, uh, the fight probably should have been called, but he, he didn't want to continue after the first one. After the was first it three? One. I'm not yeah. sure. Uh, or one of them, he, he got knocked out, but he, he, I think he was hoping the ref was going to stop it because he took a long time to get up. He could have got up quick if he wanted to. And when he did get up, he didn't do what... He wasn't following the ref's instructions properly in the hope to say like, oh, you stopped it too quickly. Or You're something. Right, right, right. That's what I felt when it was happening. Then on the last one, he fell on the floor and was like, I'm just going to stay still this time because oh. I don't want to get up. I don't want this to carry on. Yeah. So so when you get punched the first time and you don't like it, you, you look... you you. You you just go into this like I'm just gonna go all out because I wanna. This is my way of dealing with the situation. Well, everyone everyone does different. Like uh, depends on who you are. Some people just quit like straight away and say that wasn't fun. Some people just try and then do the rest of the fight not getting hit. Yeah. And win on points. Some people have accepted they've lost a fight and now just wanna they go into like survival mode. Um. Uh, and other people think, oh, well, if 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 you have the power to knock me out, I better knock you out first. I like it. Oh, it it, it inspires know, them of, to like go harder at the other person or something. Yeah, some people or some people like they they get hit and it hurts, but they don't feel like it's a it's dangerous. Like it doesn't. I mean, I just I, I can't speak for everyone, but f- when you get hit, it doesn't feel like it hurts in the same way. It feels like it's a bit like I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like you're playing a PlayStation game. Like the yeah. adrenaline's so pumping that. When you get hit, you know it's a bad thing, but it doesn't hurt you. Do you know what I mean? Right. Right, right, right. So for me, and I think most boxers, when it happens, you know it's a bad hit, but it doesn't hurt you. So unless you're scared of being knocked out properly, which I was, by the way, I didn't like the idea of that happening. So I would get scared if someone hit me hard. Um, then you like it's then what you, what decision you make from then onwards. Like, do you want to try and knock them out? Do you want to just win on points and not get hit? Um, I don't know. That's my insight. But, but I think he, he wasn't knocked out cold. I think he just stopped moving because he didn't want to fight anymore. Yeah. That was his way out. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't, yeah. like, I, I, I don't think I'll ever understand the want to be in a boxing ring. I just can't wrap my head around didn't that. You want, didn't you once say, if you had proper training when you were younger, you think you'd be a great boxer? <laughs> No, he said no. he'd run rings around the. He said he'd run, run around the edge of the ring trying to run away from whoever it was. <laughs> yeah, there's, there is, Where Mike Tyson up? There's nothing. Yeah. There's nothing that would entice me to get into a boxing ring, CJ. Like I, I don't get it. I don't even watch boxing because it's not entertaining to me. Would you do it for charity? No. <laughs> not at all. CJ trying to entice him. He's trying to set up a fight. <laughs> <laughs> hey CJ, who's the guy from the Guardian of the Galaxies, the wrestler, Batista. the old wrestler, Batista. Batista? All right, so I was watching. I don't know why. After the Roy Jones fight, and then I watched the Nate, um, the Nate fight. Right, Batista's first MMA fight came up. Right, and his original opponent pulled out because of injury, and they got this ring in to come in right and he's this guy's massive he's fat and he looks like he's he can't fight he, he, it's like uh batista uh, what's his name batista dave 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 should smash he- him right 
He's one, he's one of your Filipino brethren, mate. Yeah, I know. Yeah, half. And then, so Batista, I think, thinking that he should just smash this guy, because he's massive, he's built and all this kind of stuff. This fat guy hits him square in the face, and Dave just goes, oh, shit, this guy, oh, shit, this guy can punch, right? He starts going, he starts backpedaling, putting his hands up, going, what the hell's going And then this big guy lands the four more punches, right? And Dave goes, Oh no, I'm in a real fight. Like this is <laughs> shit. This shit's real, right? And anyways, I think the guy gets him a few more times, but he starts to gas out. So I think he, the big guy's plan was to knock him out early, mm. or like do as much damage early because he hasn't got the fitness. Mm. After like after as the round progresses, he wears him out. He does some jujitsu. Gets him to the ground and the guy sort of turtles. So he's on his front and he can't turn over. He's a big guy. And Batista just starts smacking him in the head. And then the ref eventually goes, man, he, like he's not turning over. And he calls the fight. That sounds... But that initial, the initial reaction of Dave Batista when he gets hit in the face, it's like, he's like, oh, no. oh shit. <laughs> you oh, can see it in yeah. his face. I've it's seen like, that. It's, uh, yeah. That sounds exactly uh, like that when we watched... Was it last week with the girl and the guy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very similar. Very similar. <laughs> There was about? this big guy. He's like an enormous obese guy versus a very thin girl. And the thin girl's very athletic. She's muscular as well. But she's very athletic. And the other guy is just all power. No stamina, nothing. He's not all power. He's all fat. He was, <laughs> fu- he was over he was, 500 pounds. And she was like 130 or something. He was jiggling. 500 pounds? Yeah. Jeez. Have you seen the um, Eddie Hall and Thor? Well, the uh, two ex world strongest men are having a, having a boxing fight against. Oh people. yeah, seeing, I, I want to see Thor's that. having a warm up. I think it's going to be a January. terrible boxing match, but it's going to be cool. Thor, Thor's having Is a he? he's having a warm up fight. Yeah, it just announced he's having a warm up fight in January against someone in Reykjavik, um, an actual professional boxer, an English guy, I think, Ward. Um, but the post is really weird because the the Ward guy looks like Voldemort in it. Um, like it's not very flattering picture, but <laughs> Thor in, in the effort to do this because this was announced. So Thor broke the deadlift world record earlier this year, lifting five hundred pounds, and when he did it, he was no. three hundred and five hundred. It was kilos. Oh, uh, kilos. Sorry, not pounds. He was three hundred and something kilos, I think, when he did it. And wow. since and this was in May, and since then he's dropped over. A ridiculous amount of weight already um and eddie hall's slimming down as well but there's quite a big height difference between the two of them yeah, I imagine d- that's d- gonna... d- those two guys don't like each other either no because of the controversies of no they hate each other yeah wait what does voldemort over, over double like? dipping <laughs> <laughs> it's the controversy over, um, <laughs> over the world what was it it was on um <clears throat> the world record no, As we're on, on um, talking about the world, the world's strongest man, one of the yeah, one of the winnings. Oh yeah, yeah, th- yeah. Thor was disqualified of um, one of his lifts because he used his knees, that he bent his it. knees twice, which is which you is called no double rep. dipping. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're not on a double dip, mate. <laughs> yeah, it's actually called double dipping. Ooh. So like, and they kept, they had told him explicitly before the event that you cannot do this. Yeah, and he can't, he, he can't it, do it. I think repeatedly, and he still did it. Um, yeah, I think he did it like three times. Yeah, I thought he, when I watched it back, I thought he could have got a lot more no reps than that. He got warned yeah. for a no rep before he got the no rep. And I think there's a couple that he's, he didn't actually um, have Extend. his arms. For the for the, yeah. Oh, these guys are enormous. Bloody hell. But like, it's ridiculous. If, if these guys can keep some of that power they have into the boxing ring and box against another boxer. And they land something solid. That's gonna hurt. I do, how, how, how? What do you think about the stamina of these guys? I don't know. Eddie Hall actually I think looks it could be like a one round. D- like he looks like he's actually got decent stamina for someone that size. Um, Thor does. He was not. on um, CrossFit. <laughs> yeah. With oh, Craig, CrossFit. remember Craig Richard? Yeah. Did you see that right. episode? I didn't see it, but I saw episode. the, the thumbnail. The thumbnail. Um, he's, um, it looks like Eddie Hall's pretty fit, but when the more I've watched Eddie Hall's YouTube, the more I realise how deluded deluded he is like yeah i oh. think i think yeah. they're both like i i don't even think this is going to be a big event i don't think that many people are going to watch it because i think especially by the time it happens 
the amount of all these celebrity boxing mm-hmm. things, I think people are just going to be one very tired of them, and two. Yeah, but it's quite a it's quite a good title, World's Strongest Men or something. Yeah. Yeah, but how yeah. many people actually these care? These two guys about are that? very strong men. I don't know. I want to see it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> uh, I like boxing uh, and I like World's Strongest Men. <laughs> like, like, that's forty like, percent so three far. Of us, we all, we all know why these guys aren't getting along. Out of the mm. out, of, out of the five people here, three of us know why. Oh, the history. Yeah, yeah. There's some yeah. emotional attachment. I can see this. But so like, that means, nearly, like, a lot more what people is know interesting as well. though is like a lot of these celeb- like these YouTubers and stuff. Like my assumption was like most white collar fights that. And the most first few amateur boxing fights, you get in the ring and whoever's got the most stamina, whoever's the fittest, tends to win. Like, it's nearly always that's what it is. And when I started seeing these things now, and it was the case in the first KSI fight against Logan Paul, was it? Yeah. And some of those fights, it was just whoever had the engine won the fights because no one was good enough to hurt each other properly. Like, no one could land punches and everyone was a bit too wary of each other. But having watched some of the more recent ones, like they're actually putting, like they're getting some serious coaches on board that yeah. understand boxing more, and they're actually putting together some good, like spectacle. Like, well, it's not like as a if you want to look at the boxing technique, it's not great, but as a fight, it's quite an interesting fight to watch. So, I mean, the, the, like, the, the, if you had told me Thor and Eddie Hall was fighting three years ago or two years ago, I'd have been like, oh, that's pointless. Like, because whoever's, yeah. it's just gonna get, they'd be tired and leaning on each other, and it's gonna be a boring fight. But just based on how much work it looks like they're putting in, it could actually be a proper fight. A good like, fight. Hey. Yeah, they've both dropped a remarkable amount of weight. Mm. Yeah, but the uh, I say the, I the Paul I mean, brothers not... now, they've been doing it for a couple of years at this point. So they're, they're no longer yeah. just amateurs stepping into a ring. Either. Like Logan's trying to hit several times, has called out Mayweather. To get in a ring. That doesn't, I can call up Mayweather. What does that mean? <laughs> huh? He's still an amateur. Yeah. No, no, I'm he's just. Still an no, amateur. no, I'm not. I'm just saying, like, he's now. Like, I don't oh. know if you're aware that he's called out Mayweather. Um, Everyone's called no, out no. Mayweather. Yeah. Because Man, he wants a lot of mate, money. That's why he's called out yeah. Mayweather. Right? If I was boxing, I would call out Mayweather. Get, a, <laughs> get twenty million to get into a fight. I mean, you say he wants a lot of money. I, I don't know, but I'm imagining their wealth is probably pretty close at this point. To who? No. To the who? Paul, to Mayweather. The, the Paul brothers. Their wealth. To Mayweather. Is, yeah. Their wealth is insane. YouTubers. Like they're some look, of the most wealth. Oh, let's have a look. What I think have Mayweather. They done? Uh, the. I know they got crazy wealth. Ma- um. But let's what have seen. Nineteen what million. So, social media people will have a lot of money at this point. How much are they worth? Logan Paul. Is Paul Logan the richer one, right? Logan Paul's worth around nineteen million. One nine. Oh God, Mayweather's worth. No, <laughs> they're worth Logan. more than that, aren't they? <laughs> um, Surely they're worth Logan more than Paul that. Net worth. It says nineteen million uh, as of the sixth of April, twenty twenty. Well, he always gets knocked out by Mayweather. He probably triple his worth. But, I mean, that's a lot of money still. Mayweather's I thought, worth. I, 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 I he could actually be worth I, one billion. I thought they were worth. Mayweather could be worth one billion that. dollars. It says. It says, add enough what it all that was publicly known, Mayweather's worth $560 million. However, it could actually be worth a billion. That's insane. I think I think um, Mayweather keeps $20 million in cash around the house. What? The amount of that's, times he just puts... he did when he was a showman. I wonder, I'm really curious to know what Mayweather's actually like when he's not in front of a camera. Hmm. Probably quite quiet, I guess. So. You don't really hear much of him. What? Well, what do you mean? Around. Oh, I, guess, <laughs> I was going to say. Because this will put it into perspective for you, Alex, hopefully, if I can get the number up. Um, Mayweather, like how much? Let's look at this one. So, how much? Floyd Mayweather made $275 million when he fought Conor McGregor. What? Yeah, yeah. no, I thought, I thought the Paul brothers were in the hundreds of millions. Because I in one even if you're worth if you're worth a hundred million say and you get two hundred and seventy five million for one fight, yeah, but that, that doesn't mean you have two hundred and seventy million because you got that once. Like people have made money and they're not worth as much as they've made. No, for sure. But like if you so if you add up all the assets and something of Paul Logan or Logan Paul whatever his name is. And it comes to even save it as a hundred million. But uh, I mean, I, like, I also factor in the fact that Floyd Mayweather is a notorious spender of money. Oh, I don't. 
But he hmm. he has fight promotions. He has fighters on the contract. Yeah, no, no. Like he owns clubs. Yeah, he does spend his money. Like he does spend a like. I don't know like, if any of his part, cars isn't isn't part rise. of his brand yeah. the fact that he spends money. Unless it's yeah, all yeah, leased. The point is, I, based on what I'm telling you now, you probably get it that if you fight against Mayweather, so you're going to get McGregor, money. McGregor's had one boxing fight in his career and isn't a boxer, got given $85 million to lose to Mayweather, which is That's almost insane. a guaranteed he loss. He knew. Just because people wanted like, to see it. Like when he signed the contract and he was going on that press thing, he's like, I got $85 million. <laughs> He doesn't even care. I wouldn't even worry about it. Dude, like... I would go. I would fight Tyson for twenty, get my teeth freaking twenty dollars, punched into the back of my, <laughs> punched in the back of my face, twenty million, because there there'll have to be a lot of reconstructive surgery after the fight. You need twenty million to put that face back. <laughs>